one who finds himself uh, established in the wholeness, uh, becomes his uh, own uh, his own authority. It's an authority. Oh no! You, you, uh, this is coming from a very traditional. Uh, <laughs> have you read a lot of traditional? You've been involved with traditional teachings. And, but in, in the traditional teaching, it is always question of. Uh, uh, authority. Uh, yes, of course, because the, let's be clear about it. Traditional teaching is personal. Yes. Traditional teaching is about somebody establishing themselves in oneness. Yes. It's it's a personal teaching. It's a tip because it's a teaching. It's obviously a personal teaching, and and, and it actually uh, communicates the <coughs> idea that there is someone who becomes established in oneness. It has absolutely no relevance to liberation at all. It's a construct in the mind about the mind's idea of what enlightenment is like and how it can become established. And once it becomes established, how that person who has, is now established in enlightenment has an authority. It's hierarchy. The mind loves Hierarchy. <laughs> it loves the idea of someone becoming established in oneness and therefore becoming an authority. It's, it's absolute. It's, it's a construct of the mind. It's a, it's a, fan, it's a fantasy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody said to me once, the trouble with you is you have very little respect for tradition. <laughs> and I said, no, you're wrong. I have, I have none no at all. <laughs> because it comes out of There's no authority, there's no hierarchy. This message is absolute pure anarchy. It's, a, it's a unquestioned anarchy. But not what we think of as anarchy, which you usually the mind connects with violence. This is pure anarchy. There is no authority. All this is what is. The idea of authority is what gurus are made out of. Gurus and disciples. The mind loves all that. But did you know that there are, there are seven basic Buddhist forms of enlightenment, different approaches and all, and none of, them, none of them are impersonal. In the end, if you read all seven of them, they end up, the final result of each path, apparent Buddhist path, is a, a personal enlightenment. Right. I can't imagine that all these <coughs> centuries of all these sages and all these gurus and I don't know that they're all on the wrong track and they always have been and all their de devotees are as well. <coughs> I just can't imagine it. Yeah, but they they sincerely are on the wrong track. I mean they're sincerely confused, most of them. Because because that would you you're talking about the teaching or personal enlightenment, the mind constru immediately constructs the idea of personal enlightenment and the teaching which leads towards it. That, that always has to be the most powerful message there is. Because it's, spe it's speaking to a person. So all tradition, a traditional advisor, traditional Buddhism, whatever, is directed to a personal attainment of some sort, based on something else which is incredibly powerful, and that is personal unworthiness. Directly the child, the child becomes separate, it feels immediately unworthy, as though it's cast out of something. So it grows up with that built-in sense of unworthiness. And all teachings, all teachings deal with unworthiness. They all say, you have to change, you have to be still or kill your ego. That's right, yeah, but it seems that there's a process going on and that devotees of gurus, I'll just say it in this way, have also reached what 
what they consider to be enlightenment. Yes, it's a, it's a, an in, in constant state. A constant state? An in constant, in constant state, state, usually of detachment. So that would mean that you're about the only one? <coughs> no, I'm not. I'm not the only one. There isn't anyone. No, I know. Well, and this has always been, this, this communication has always been around. And it's been communicated elsewhere. Like so who had it? Anyone we know? Nobody has it, you see. No, but... Nobody, but you never hear of anyone becoming liberated, because no one ever does. You hear lots of stories in the traditional stories of becoming enlightened. You know, he went to the master yeah. and asked him, and the master said, and then he walked away, and then he came and gave him, and he asked the master, and then he came again and asked the master, and then he became enlightened. Exactly. What well, bullshit! Okay. Yeah. It's just bullshit, it's just, it's a lovely story, it's a fairy story. Very attractive one. Well,